Welcome friends. Today we are going to discuss what are the properties of wave function psi. In the previous videos we have seen what is psi, its physical significance, and what are what are the postulates of quantum mechanics. Okay. Now, what type of wave functions are suitable? What type of mathematical functions are suitable as wave functions? That we have to see now. Okay. All mathematical functions are not suitable as wave functions because we have a condition, right? Psi square of x should denote the probability of finding the particle. Okay, that's how what you call it has been postulated. Okay, and psi contains entire information from psi only. We should get what all the physical aspects of the particle should be understood from psi only. So all mathematical functions are not suitable as wave function. The function should satisfy some conditions. Okay, what are those conditions? Made? The first one is okay, psi and dou psi by x. Remember here. Psi and dou psi by dou x both should be right single valued, finite, and continuous. Okay, not only psi, psi at any value of x, psi should have only one and only one value. Okay, at some point of x, if psi has what you call two values, right? What will happen? Psi and psi dash are two values. What will happen from psi only? You are getting the entire information. Okay. If psi can have two values at that point, I use one value of psi, I'll get one momentum, I'll use second value of psi, second psi, I'll get second value of the momentum. At one point, at one instant, a single particle cannot have two different momenta, impossible, or two different kinetic energies like that. That's meaningless, isn't it? Okay, so psi should be single valued. Similarly, dou psi by dou x also should be single valued. Why? Okay, the momentum operator is minus i h bar dou, dou by dou x. Okay, when I'll operate, what you call this operator on psi, dou psi by dou x. If dou psi by dou x is having two values at a single point, it means that linear momentum is having two values at a single point. Okay, which is also meaningless again. So, psi should be single valued. Okay, throughout the domain, right, psi should have only one and one, one value. Okay, how, how do we write, if I draw a graph of, say, psi of x versus x graph, the function should be like this. It can be anything like this, but it should have at one point, it should have only one value. That's it cannot have two values like this. I cannot draw like this. Okay. At this point of x, right, which value of psi I should take? This is one value, this is second value, this is third value, three different values of psi. Three different values of psi will give me three different values for every parameter we see, which is meaningless, is it? So psi should be single valued. Psi should be finite. Okay, if psi becomes infinity, everything becomes infinity. Okay, physics will not work at infinity. Infinity is a useful mathematical construction, that's all. Okay, in physics, nothing should happen at infinity. Remember, everything should be finite only. Okay, at finite domain, finite things only physics should happen or will happen. Okay, something happening at infinity means in physics, it does not happen at all. Okay, it does not happen. Particle is likely to be found at infinity. What is the meaning of infinity? There's no question. Means, well, what does that mean? I don't find a particle at all because I do, do I cannot go to infinity, isn't it? So psi should be finite. Okay, psi cannot be infinite because all properties become infinite. Okay, right? And psi should be continuous also. This is also an important aspect. Continuity of the wave function is also an important okay aspect. Psi may be finite, psi may be single valued, but at some point the function becomes discontinuous. Discontinuous means if I get a psi value like this. I'll get psi value like this. Okay, this is psi and this is x. Okay, what is the value of psi at x1? I'll see this and say this is psi, psi value at x1. At x2 value, what is the value of psi? Psi value is this. I'll use those psi by x, I'll get momentum, those square psi by x, I'll get kinetic energy, one value. Okay, single finite only, single valued only, I'll get single values. I'm happy. Here also, psi will have some value at x3 also. Psi is having some value at x4, psi is having some value at x5, also psi is some, having some value. Okay, up to this point, I know psi value perfectly. One for first postulate says, well, once you know psi, you have the entire information about the system. That's what quantum mechanics first postulate says, isn't it? Now, what about the situation here? Okay, now suppose say this is x5. This is my x5, up to x5, right? I'll explain about the system or about the particle beautifully. Okay, but from x y there is a, from x y onwards there is a discontinuity up to suppose say x seven, x seven I don't know information about the system from x seven onwards again x eight x nine right x ten x eleven etc. Psi is single valued finite I can talk anything about the system, but what about the system between x five and x seven? What is the value or what is the state of the system 
at x is. I have no information. Okay, psi is not defined there. Okay, psi may be going like this. Okay, psi may be going like this, psi may be going like this. I don't know. Okay, there is a discontinuity in psi value. Okay, so what is happening to psi in this region? How psi is varying? I don't know. Once I don't know psi, quantum mechanics will not open its mouth. Okay, it will not open its mouth. Because unless you have psi, quantum mechanics cannot work. You are not defining psi at all. Means there is a discontinuity in the wave function. Okay, that wave function is also not suitable. Okay, what is not suitable in physics? Will not be suitable in physical world also. I don't know. Okay, right? So psi should be single valued. Psi should be, and dose I vector x also. Dose I vector simultaneously because dose I vector x talks about linear momentum. Okay, psi should be single valued, linear momentum also, psi should be finite, linear momentum also, psi should be continuous, dose of x also should be continuous. Of course, there is an exception for the dose of x because it is related to momentum at infinite potential. Okay, dose of x can be discontinuous. This can be understood. Okay, potential varied is infinite, say, means barrier of infinite strength. Okay, right? This particle goes and hits the barrier. Because it is infinite potential, no particle can penetrate through that barrier, particle will get reflected. The, the moment it touches the wall, its momentum is plus p here. Its momentum is plus p. The moment it, the ball touches the wall, infinite potential here, potential v equal to infinity, what is its momentum? p. Suppose that this is positive x direction, I will take this plus p. Immediately after Colliding with the wall, the ball gets reflected and starts moving in opposite direction. Then what is its momentum? Minus p I'll get. So at this point, okay, at this position of the infinite potential, right, which value size p is linear momentum is become discontinuous. From plus p, it is abruptly changing to minus p. Discontinuous change. Okay, so dose i beta, there is one exception for that. Dose i beta x can be discontinuous only at infinite potential. If the potential is finite, even dose of x should be continuous. Okay, right? That is the first condition. Next one, psi of x should be right as x tends to infinity, right? As x tends to plus or minus infinity, psi of x should vanish. Okay, because when x goes to infinity, wave function cannot exist at the infinite position. Particle is found at uh, what's the wave function is existing at infinity means. Probability of finding the particle is also what you call is also possible at infinity. Really, at infinity, nothing should happen in physics. Means what should happen is something possible. Is particle likely to fall at infinity? Can you and I go to infinity and see whether particle is there or not? If we can, if we can go, it's not infinity at all. What is infinity? Is something not reachable, isn't it? Okay. So what should happen? Particle should not be found there. Means probability should become zero. Means wave function should become zero. Okay. Means psi of x should tends to zero. Means it should vanish. It should vanish. Okay. Right? So, this is second important property the wave function has to satisfy. Third one is, when I apply Schrodinger wave equation to a system, say, pass in a box or linear harmonic oscillator or a finite potential barrier or whatever it is. Okay, there are many applications, five or six applications, important applications. Okay. I'll get some solutions. Okay, we will not get mostly, we okay, will not get a single solution. I'll get something like En equal to, I'll get something like En equal to En plus half H U for a linear harmonic oscillator. For a particle in the box, psi n equal to right root 2 by L or A, very greater than that. So take it as A no issue. Okay, psi n equal to A sin n pi x by L, something like that. Okay. Can I say I have got only one solution? No. Okay, n equal to n equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. You get psi 1, psi 2, psi 3, psi 4, etc. Where is the limit? n can tend to infinity. Okay, n can go to infinite. Okay, means how many solutions are there for a particle in the box? Infinite number of solutions are there because the potential is infinite. Okay, right? So, infinite means psi 1 is one solution. Okay, psi 2 is another solution. Psi 3 is also another solution. Similarly, E1 is one proper energy value. E2 is another proper energy value corresponding psi 1, psi 2, psi 3 will be there. Okay, right? Then, if psi 1, psi 2, psi 3, etc., etc., are solutions, right, to Schrodinger wave equation, then their linear combination like c1, psi 1 plus c2, psi 2 plus c3, psi 3 must also or uh, becomes the most general solution. This is a property of a differential equation. Okay, second order Schrodinger wave equation, second order linear differential equation. Okay, 
right? Yes. Such an equation, if there are some solutions, say e1, e2, e3, psi1, psi2, psi3 are solutions, then the, their linear combination c1, psi1 plus c2, psi2 plus c3, psi3, etc., is also the most will, will be the most general solution. Then c1, psi1, psi2, psi3 will become specific solutions for particular states. Okay. So this has come from the differential what you call the property of differential equation. So this is we create a second order linear differential equation. Next one is psi should be square integrable. The next one. Psi should be square integrable means what? Right? That is next important one, right? Integral minus infinity to infinity mod psi square dx should be less than infinity. Should be less than infinity. If it is equal to infinity, means what? There is nothing but probability density. Probability density is becoming infinity is meaningless. Okay. Probability density is probability becoming infinity is meaningless. Okay. Probability should always be finite. Okay. Means it should be finite. Should be finite. Okay. Only when it is finite, it is having some finite value, I can normalize the wave function easily. I can normalize the wave function. This is called square integrability of the wave function. This is called square integrability. Means the wave function should be square integrable. Okay, we'll see in some future videos. Okay, we'll see some wave functions. They are single valued only, they are finite only, they are continuous only. But if you do integral minus infinity mod size square dx, you will not you'll get infinity. Okay. Infinity, if you get it cannot be what's the norm, the wave function cannot be normalized. Okay, we will get handled with problems. So the most another important property of wave function is that it should be square integrable. It should be Square integral. Square integral means integral minus infinity infinity mod size square dx or whatever it is in the domain should be finite. Should be finite means it should not be infinity, it should be finite. Okay. So this is the, these are the properties of the wave function. So all mathematical functions we see like tan x, cot x, secant x, etc., cosecant, etc., are not suitable as wave functions in quantum mechanics. Okay. Sin x is okay, acceptable. Okay. Cos x is acceptable, like that. Some some functions, okay, specific functions only are acceptable. Okay, sometimes in the examinations, questions also will come. We will give you three, four functions. Which wave function is suitable as a wave function? We have three issues whether it is having single value, whether it is becoming infinite or not. At some point, suddenly it becomes finite and becomes infinite at some value. Okay, right? Whether it is has these are these properties, right? You have to check whether it is square integrable or not. Some properties all satisfy, all are satisfied except square integrable. Right. So <clears throat> these are the four properties of the function that right? we will see the remaining topics in next video. Thank you.